My personal favorite is Ghost Adventures, which Ghost Adventures has been going on for 19 seasons. They haven't found a single ghost yet. Oh, the entire show is just grown men walking into abandoned buildings going, what's that? That's the show. And the thing is, there's a ton of shows. There's Dead File, Jack Osborne has a ghost hunting show. I'm not making that up. Literally, you what? You work at the Jack Osborne. First, just tell him to go home and film his dad. Okay, I mean, what is this? I'm all for diversity. I think it's great, but there are certain quotas we don't need to meet. Like, I don't think the ghost adventuring genre needs, like, I don't need to see Queer Eye for the Dead Guy. I don't need to see five gay men walk into some abandoned prison being like, well, of course he's haunting you. Look what you're wearing. Like, I just, I don't need it. But Ghost Adventures is my personal favorite. It is hosted by this complete piece of shit. His name is Zach. <laughs> and Zach says every episode, he's like, my name is Zach, I'm a demonologist. I'm like, okay. <laughs> First of all, my parents were disappointed when I told them I was gay. I can't imagine. <laughs> Sitting them down and being like, Mom, Dad, I'm going into demonology. They'd be like, we rather you suck a dick. At least it's there. But that, I know. Yes. I know. But it, it's so crazy. First of all, they have technology on the show. It just doesn't make any sense. They have a machine that texts ghosts. What? Like, I'm sorry. Wouldn't the world know about this technology? Like, this cannot be technology exclusive to the Travel Channel. And also, if we had this technology, we'd be using it for everything. We'd be at weddings like, well, we'll see what Nana thinks of your dress. You know, just vindictive. I, and so Zach, the host of the show, he has a museum in Vegas. It's called the Zach Baggins Haunted Museum, which yes, and honestly, if you've been to the Halloween section of Michael's, you've been to this museum. <laughs> Side note, Michael's was my first job. Okay. <laughs> and I got fired for stealing. <laughs> I know, and it was a shit I didn't even need. I was like, what is this, a Winnie the Pooh cake pan? You're coming home with me. <laughs> I did. I also, this, there's nothing gayer than this. I dated a girl who also worked at Michael's. I don't know if she got wet by can I help you craft on my apron, but I broke up with her in the yarn section. I did, I was like, Francesca, to the yarn section, please. <laughs> She's like, what is it? I'm like, this isn't gonna work, you know. <laughs> what, us? No, this outfit. You know, I was so gay. So anyways, I was in Vegas and my friend Brett, he was like, Mateo, I know you love ghost adventures, so I got his tickets to go to Zach Baggins Haunted Museum. I'm like, holy shit. So we went, I got, you know, we took an edible and, uh, I mean, I'm not going sober. So we went and everything about it's like hack, right? Like they have gargoyles on the ground. That's not where they belong. And <laughs> but the gargoyles have one job. They're like in the gravel. Okay. so. We thought that we're just gonna pay money and run around the museum and have a good time. Oh no, you have to like wait in this big long line and then they cut you off and put you with different like people. So it was like us two, very flamboyantly gay, and then everybody else was an American flag shirt. So it's like, well, this is a hate crime waiting to happen. <laughs> but I wanted in. And so when we walked up, they, yeah, when we walked up, they had the woman who greeted us. And she's exactly the kind of woman you think that would work. She's Darlene from the Wawa. She was back there, she's working there. And we walked up, she's like, before you come in, you have to sign a waiver, because I warned you, people have said things have followed them home. I'm like, well, it better not be you. So, <laughs> it was so ridiculous. What was funny to me is like, there was a room with this doll named Peggy that was full of like super scary, and no one else would go in the room, just me and the gays. We were the only, everyone else was too scared to go in, which was really like telling to me. I'm like, straight people, gay people are very brave. We are very brave people, because I walked in that room, all the straight people were scared. I wanted to turn to them and say, look, you think this is bad? You try going to the south side of Chicago in your mom's minivan to give a guy a blowjob and hope to God he looks like his grinder profile picture. <laughs> 
Greg has got nothing on the gaze. 